The Code of Hammurabi is a well-preserved Babylonian code of law from ancient Mesopotamia. It's about 4,000 years old, and it's about seven and a half feet high and made of stone, so it's rather large. There were other such steles that were created in ancient Mesopotamia. However, this one is one of the largest preserved steles that exists today. At the top we see a relief carving of an image and underneath that lots of writing, cuneiform writing. The writing is broken up into sections where one section explains the image we see at the top. So on the top we see a relief sculpture. This is a sculpture that's carved into stone and slightly protrudes off the surface. On the left is the King Hammurabi. He is actually the smaller figure. As we remember from past artworks, scale is usually used to indicate importance. In this case, King Hammurabi is smaller because he is facing a god the god Shamash, who is the god of justice. The god of justice sits on an elevated throne. If we look very closely, we can see mountains underneath his feet. He is levitating above the earth. We can also see that he has a fancy headdress. This is a symbol of his divinity. If we look even closer, we see wavy lines coming from his shoulders. This is a representation of light, almost like a glow given off by his godliness. He hands Hammurabi something. He is giving King Hammurabi a scepter and a ring. These are both symbols of power. So he's handing power over to Hammurabi. There are more than 300 laws written on this stele. They are divine laws, as illustrated by the relief picture on top, because a divine being is giving Hammurabi right to create these laws. The laws are written in an order that follows. If someone does X, they will be punished by Y. An example of one of these is kind of like an eye for an eye. So, in fact, one of the laws state that if a man puts out the eye of another man, his eye shall be put out. Many of the laws also surround property, animals, farming, and trading. Things get a little complicated when you bring gender and slavery into consideration. However, these are definitely considered in the laws. Another example of a law is if a woman dies before having sons, the dowry paid for her goes back to her father. If she dies and have sons, the money is given to the sons. Another example is, if a builder builds a home and it falls down and kills the family living inside, the builder must be put to death. Although the stele is named for Hammurabi, many of the laws are taken from older tablets that are passed down from older Mesopotamian laws.